Boyle's law states that at constant temperature the volume of a given mass of dry gas is inversely proportional to its pressure that is at constant temperature the pressure is increased volume of gas decreases and if pressure is decreased volume of gas increases this is vice versa with variation of volume if v is the volume of certain mass of gas under pressure p at constant temperature according to boyle's law v is inversely proportional to pressure v is equal to k into 1 by p where k is the proportionality constant hence product of pressure and volume is constant p into v is equal to k let's verify if product of volume of gas and pressure is always same given mass of gas is constant in first trial maintain the pressure of 1 into 10 to the power 5 pascals measure the volume it is 1 liter calculate the product of pressure and volume it is 1 into 10 to the power 5 now conduct second trial in this trial double the pressure of gas to 2 into 10 to the power 5 pascals now measure the volume of gas it is 0.5 liter calculate product of pressure and volume it is 1 into 10 to the power 5 In third trial increase the pressure further maintain the pressure of gas of 4 into 10 to the power 5 pascals measure the volume of gas now it is 0.25 liter calculate product of pressure and volume it is 1 into 10 to the power 5 if you notice in all the trials as you increase the pressure of gas volume of gas decreased and product of pressure and volume always remained constant this proves boyle's law applications of boyle's law in our daily life deep sea fishes die when they brought suddenly to surface due to low pressure similarly scuba divers life is under threat when he suddenly come to surface quickly popping of balloon when squeezed is due to increase in the pressure Boyle's law application can be verified in daily life situations like breathing in animals, filling air to vehicles tires. We often feel a very uneasy pain in ears while in a plane during ascending or descending due to imbalance in pressure inside and outside of eardrum. Then you have to open your mouth to allow the excess of pressure to escape. 